This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by Raycon. Go to buyraycon.com forward slash rogue and get 15% off your first purchase. They're delicious earbuds. Put them in your ears, you don't eat them. I was about to say, like, they're earbuds that are very good. The sound is delicious. No, that doesn't work either. <laughs> Twenty years ago, in the stage show, we were doing this routine where we had a dollar bill vanish and appear inside a solid block of ice. And so we needed the ice to be clear. We weren't ever able to get it clear. We got it mostly clear. I tried all the things that I'd heard of. This is pre-internet, basically. I'd heard try distilled water. I heard try boiling the water and then put it into the freezer boiled or whatever. I know that clear ice is a thing. I've seen icicles. Professional chainsaw ice sculptors are using clear ice. You're getting a little mad at nature. I, this is 20 years of vengeance waiting. I want the secret to clear ice. Oh, by the way, we're here with Nick from Cocktail Hello. Hey, Hi. Nick. Thanks yes. for having me. Forgive him. There are a lot of misconceptions out there. The most frequent comment and question I get is, yeah, can I just boil the water to get clear ice or use filtered water? So you're saying that's totally bogus. Doesn't matter if it's filtered, doesn't matter if it's been boiled. What, why does everybody think that? It's a good question. I think it can help the clarity of the ice. It's not going to get you perfectly clear ice. Usually if there's a lot of impurities in your water or you don't have great water, you'll want to boil it first. But a lot of the cloudiness from ice actually comes from trapped air and other purities within within the water. So not just the bubbles, but yeah. the, the weird cloudiness that comes from yeah. trapped air as well? That's not like yeah. something you can boil away? Yeah, you can't boil that away. I mean, you can you can help it a little bit from boiling, but you're never gonna get perfectly clear ice that, that you'll find where it almost makes the ice disappear because uh, it's so clear when you pour liquid into it. So what I have here is just a very simple cooler that might fit a six pack of beer. You can get this for like 20 bucks on Amazon. The way this is gonna work is using a technique called directional freezing. And this technique was actually developed about 10 years ago by a guy named Camper English, who figured out how to make this at home. Oh, you're making that up, but keep going, it's cool, <laughs> I'm with it. So what we have here is this cooler, and I've actually, you can see is, I've removed the top of it here, right? So there's no lid, I've pulled it right off. And what that leaves us with is this device that is insulated on all sides, except for the top. And that's gonna force the freezing process to happen from the top down, because this part is exposed, and so the freezing is gonna happen here first. And that is important because all of the impurities and the trapped gases form at the end of the freezing process. So we're effectively pushing all that impurity and cloudiness down to the bottom, and then we can hack it off, or what we've done here is, I've actually pulled this out of the freezer a little early, and so we're gonna see some water at the bottom of this as well. This suddenly makes sense. This is why icicles are clear, because they are directionally freezing yeah. down. So let's do the reveal here. I'm gonna invert this, and this, this big block should come out. Hopefully it doesn't go spilling everywhere here. That's weird. Wait, is that still water trapped inside? Yes, yes, so I let this freeze for about 24 hours. My freezer at home is about negative eight degrees Fahrenheit. And so it, it didn't freeze fully solid. It kind of froze about up to here. And this stuff was still water. And this is actually even better for us because we now don't have to worry about hacking off all of the uh, uh, cloudiness right here. We just sort of stopped the freezing process before the cloudiness actually formed. Ah, oh. and you can actually see the water inside moving around yep. up top there. Yeah, the next thing we want to do is, is get this water out so we can isolate the clear ice here. Make a mess, I'm, I'm feeling you. You go, <laughs> you go for it. Here, we'll play, we'll play cleanup duty. Oh good, the hammer. I was hoping, <laughs> like don't tease me and not use the hammer. I asked you guys to provide a hammer and Modern Rope did not disappoint. You, this thing is on. a beast. <laughs> you know, most so. recently that smashed a windshield, so it's been blessed. All right. Totally wrong direction. We prepared for the wrong direction. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, so we got all this water here we wanna get rid of. Um, Is I'm it, gonna... oh dude, you can't really even tell where the ice begins and the water ends. Oh yeah, wow. You can already see some of the clarity here. So let's just we'll get some of this stuff off here as well. This part's actually the fun part. 
Some people will say that perfectly clear ice also has the benefit of melting more slowly because you don't have those trapped gases in the ice cube. The reality is you're not going to really notice that impact. It's mostly aesthetic. It makes the drink look pretty. Now, is this the same method that they use for like ice sculptures and stuff like that? That's using a, a machine called the Kleinbell machine. Oh. And I believe that actually works more by circulating the water as it's freezing. So it kind of freezes in layers is my oh, understanding. Okay. Oh, that's actually, look yeah. at that. Wow. So we'll clean this up a little bit. We'll chop off some of the uh, cloudy bits and you'll be left with this sort of clear section. So it right is here. astonishing. I mean, it's, it's, that's yeah. so good. And anyone could do this too. This is really simple. It's I thought there was easy. going to be some sort of odd machine that you were gonna have you're to bring out. You're a fraud, this is easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if you're doing this for a bar program, you, you might be using a Kleinbell machine. This, oh, okay. And actually carving it up. So you know those band saws from yeah. like back oh, in yeah, shop yeah, class? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they'll run these clear ice blocks through that just to like get the cubes and all the shapes that they want. I guess that's, that's sort of what they used to do before freezers were a thing. They would yeah. chop up the ice in oh, ponds yeah. and they just use right. saws, yeah. take them in blocks and then throw them off to the East India Company. Exactly, yeah. And if you're making this at home, there are also devices that will put it into clear cubes for you. They tend to be pretty expensive. They can be even a couple hundred bucks. This is by far the most budget friendly way, I guess, to do this at home. This will kind of ruin a bread knife, I think, if you if you actually wanted to keep this. But uh, we're gonna start to just sort of chop into this here. I like to kind of just, there's gonna be ice chips flying. Oh, like sure, sure. It's okay. So we'll kind of just start to hack at this a little bit. And this hammer is a beast, okay. Nice. This part right here is easiest done through just melting it down, just running some hot water yeah. over the top. Yeah, here, let's, get, let's yeah. get some hot water or something. Got a bunch of warm water on there, not quite hot, like we're giving a, a shave. <laughs> nice lather. Ooh, ooh, oh. And how was your week? <laughs> mm. Is this, is this where we turn into an ASMR channel? <laughs> this is actually working pretty well. Yeah. I'm a little skeptical, but yeah, it's coming out clear. I feel like some sort of craftsman. I feel like all of us should be asking the spirits a question. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, great spirits. How is clear ice made? <laughs> oh my God. We did it. Wow. That is astonishing. And it's only gonna get more clear as this all evens out. Yep. Yeah, you can kind of see the pattern of the towel has ingrained itself <laughs> on there. So you just saw it down with a regular bread knife? Yeah, so now it's just about getting it into the shapes that you want for the glass. This is, I mean, look, I understand you do ice for a reason for cubes, but I feel like it belongs in a museum. I mean, I, I don't wanna break this, but theoretically, how should we, oh, I'm gonna drop it, yeah. I'm gonna drop it. Here we go, it's fine. For the viewers at home, if we were serving this to you, we probably wouldn't be rubbing our bath towels over it or Speak grubby little hands. Speak for yourself. Over it. I would hope, yeah. I would hope. So don't worry about that. We call that the Brian yeah. special. Yeah, that's, that's on the shop. It's like <laughs> every cube was hand caressed by Brian himself. You charge extra for that? That's right. Okay. So we just now need to get it into the shapes we want. There's usually two shapes you can carve this up into. Uh, if it's gonna be for say a rocks glass like mm -hmm. this, you're making the old fashioned in Manhattan, you know, you usually just want one big cube. And we'll, we'll start with that. You can also carve it up into these sort of longer sticks that are good for like Collins glasses, those like oh, long neat. balls. Mm -hmm. And it has, it's a nice clear ice cube effect in those, which is really cool. So let's just go for the, so the basic cube here. We might have to do a little more carving down, but I'm basically just going to take a bread knife, which is serrated, and this, this will probably do a little damage to the bread knife. So use one that you know is relatively cheap, and we'll just start to carve it up right here. So we just wanna create sort of a, a straight line across. And if you have a hatchet, that's even better, but we're using a bread knife. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, I guess it's yeah. five minutes. <laughs> I can, I can be back with a hatchet. <laughs> Let's, we'll go with this. We'll carve one slit here, and then we'll, we'll do one on the other side. And try oh, are we just to gonna break it, it along there? We're just gonna try to break it. It usually gets a pretty clean break. Of course, as I say this, I'm sure it'll be all really jagged. But, um, but that's the nice thing, is it'll just melt down into whatever perfect yeah. cube you want. And to be honest, I actually like more sort of random shapes versus like a perfect cube. I think it adds a little more character to the drink. I have a little thing where you, you pour the water in and put it in your freezer and then little carbonite Han Solos come out that you put in your drink. <laughs> it's pretty rad. So the goal is gonna be to gently tap this in an even way and so it does a clean split. So let's pray to the ice gods that this happens. Her name's Elsa. Elsa. <laughs> 
You can see it's starting to split a little wow, right there. Wow, yeah, it's really visually arresting. Oh. Hey, that's pretty good. Ooh, that's very that's good. good. Oh wow, and, and it really decided to go its own direction on here. We had pre-serrated this side. That's true, yeah. But I guess once it starts going, it's gonna go whichever way it wants. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit random like that. We'll continue to carve it down a bit into the shapes we want. So let's now cut into sort I'm of a with cube you. side. Look, look at how much prettier that is with that texture on yeah, the side. Yeah, it's nice, right? That mirror finish. That looks awesome. I'll do one more, like, probably right about there, and then we'll probably have to carve it down a little more to get it to fit in the glass. And I'll just do one side here at this point. You don't really need to do both sides. A few taps. Ooh, How about that, that was hammer, good. Though. All in the hammer, yeah. We're almost there. Whoops. So let's, <laughs> there let's, it is. Let's size this here. So that's a little too big. Perfect. Yeah. I say we're good. I'm a modern rogue. <laughs> we're done. And it might get a little jagged, but it's all right. This is way less of a race against time than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Yeah. I sticks around a shockingly long time. I and mean, we were talking about this. They literally can ship it around the world without it melting. It's just a matter of surface area, right? If it's all, sure. it has to melt from the outside in. Yeah, yeah. These big cubes will stick around a while. Yeah. And again, if you're doing this by the sink, you can run this under hot water as well to, mm -hmm. to kind of shave it down a little bit. This way is a little more fun. You can kind of like start to shape some texture in there. I really like the texture that the bread knife is putting on there. Yeah, I like that too. It gets your hands a little bit cold after a while, but you can kind of just start to spin it around and, and shape it a little bit. I wonder how much more ominous this looks if Brant does the scary about to cut himself thing on it. <laughs> the injury counter just pops up right here. Wow. <laughs> it starts appearing like a threat. It's like, do we need to don't try this at home? Disclaimer, <laughs> yeah. smacking a knife, knife against your hand. Yeah. Some people will even go so far as to like get a really sharp knife and like shave Ooh. diamond yeah, cuts don't, and don't, all this Don't stuff. cut towards your hands. Yeah, right. yeah that's, that's a bad idea. idea. Even though it doesn't perfectly fit, spin it around a little bit, it'll sort of melt against the sides of the glass and uh, should get us the shape we want. And some people actually don't really like a giant cube. It's sort of based on personal taste because you might get a little bit on your nose as you're starting to sip on it, but I like it. I think it looks cool. Oh, that looks good. May I? Real pretty. All right, let's see. This is a fairly generous helping. <laughs> yeah, you're still getting plenty of whiskey in there. Wow. You can see right through it. That's awesome. Oh, that's amazing. It barely even looks like there's any ice in there. That is awesome. And again, this is just regular tap water? This is just... Texas tap water. Yeah. Texas tap water, that's right. <laughs> Perfectly clear ice from regular tap water, no distilled water, no boiling, right. yeah. nothing but directional freezing and tender loving care. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, boiling will still get you some cloudiness. If you just boil the water and freeze it as normal, you need to do this directional freezing method to really isolate some of those impurities and gases and then just chop them off and that's what you're left with. The craziest part is as it melts, it gets even more clear. Yeah. That's awesome. The other thing to note is once you chop this up into the pieces you want, put it in a Ziploc bag, keep it in the freezer. When you pull it out, it will look very frosty and cloudy. That'll all go away once you pour the liquid in. But it's really important to temper the ice before you pour the whiskey in. Because if you pull it out of the freezer and then you drop it into your glass and pour some liquid right on top, it's gonna crack right yep. away. Let it right. sit for five minutes at least and uh, it won't crack, and then some of the frostiness from the freezer will come right off, and you'll be, you'll be left with that. So you clear. want the outside starting to melt by the time it goes into the drink? Yeah, yeah, Got have it. it be a little moist on the outside. Look yeah, a little smoother, a little glossier. Exactly, exactly. Excellent. Well, where can we find more about all of your wizardry, Nick? Head over to uh, Cocktail Chemistry, my YouTube channel. I'm also on Instagram, and we do a lot more fun science experiments like this with cocktails. Dude, that is awesome. <laughs> I just went into a full-on panic. We're about to leave on vacation. I get out of my car, I'm a, I have my Raycon earbuds charging, my E25s, you know, so that I'll be able to get the maximum amount of hours on the road. And I get out, I walk away, and I walk back, and one of my earbuds is on the seat, and I open it up, I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I had them in my lap, and then I got up, and it was like full-on panic. I mean, luckily, it was just right down there. Okay, but losing one is worse than losing both, I think, because if you lose one, you know that the others may be close by. With any other earbud, it would be a disaster, but Raycons are so freaking affordable. I love the low stress of knowing that it's like, if I did lose one, I'd be like, 
I can, I can buy four sets of Raycons and still not match the dumb price for some of the overpriced other guys. They start at about half the price of some of the premium ones, and they're every bit as good. The quality is incredible. The battery life is great on their new E25s. It's like six hours, and they've got that delicious <laughs> built-in bass now, and it just sounds spectacular. Yeah, for me, it's all about the comfort. I, I sleep in them, and it's great. I mean, we love our Raycons, and we love, in fact, we're at the point now where a bunch of fans are hitting us up on Twitter, on the comments, saying, no, sincerely, Raycon's best thing ever. Go to buyraycon.com forward slash rogue, get 15% off. Be like me. Don't go into public without earbuds so that you have an excuse to ignore people. Yeah. Somebody's trying to get you like, that's the magic trick. That's <laughs> it is magic. <laughs> Buyraycon.com slash rogue. Believe it or not, this video on my channel on how to make clear ice yeah. is by far the most popular. Yeah. Get, the get internet, ready. Here comes number two. <laughs> yeah. The internet loves clear ice. I'm not quite sure why. But um, I mean who doesn't love yeah. clear ice? It's magic. It's this is actually working pretty well. Yeah. I'm kind of skeptical, but yeah, it's coming out clear.